Yeah, unfortunately the drone is an issue. We don't, don't mind people walking around, but you should be flying a drone over this, this site. That is uh, not particularly... Um, Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here to have a look at this mega secure place. Look at that. And it's called, it is on Google, it has got a name tag, Lloyd's Horizon Data Center. So we're seeing these more and more often, these data centers. And they're key to large organizations like Lloyd's, Lloyd's TSB, whatever it's called. You know, every time somebody uses their internet banking or their ATMs, they're relying on this sort of infrastructure, these servers inside here to be cool, to be running, to be uh, <laughs> in use. And you know, if somebody had a grudge against them and they wanted to disrupt their operation, one of these places would be a prime target, wouldn't it? But uh, that explains the mega high security. I mean, you go inside here, look, and then you've got another version of the same just over there. So like a prison vehicle lock. And then you've got exactly the same again over there. So three layers of security. And then I can actually see a fourth layer down there. But obviously, once again, we will see it much better with the drone. So I just wanted to see what the initial front entrance was like. So you've got turnstiles for the pedestrian access times two. And you've also got a big door in the middle for disabled. Automatic gate, swift traffic lights. A speed gate entry. So it must be fast. And as we read earlier, Horizon Center. Oh, we've even got steel that reinforces the little fences. The wooden fences that go over. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Just in case anyone thinks about ram raiding uh, through this part. And even some mega bollards here, look, to stop vehicles going into this area. Yeah, this is uh, very secure. And even steel bar, rebar, across this bank. So it's actually been made raised up I'll get a close-up of that because that is uh, very very over the top look at that so it's all built on a bank grass bank <laughs> they've not left anything to chance on this one so let's have a little walk around the uh, external perimeter the paths look very well trodden so dog walkers must be walking down here. They're making some sort of bug hotel with these pallets for the wildlife. That's good to see in this uh, middle car park, staff car park area. And my favorite thing, look, electric vehicle charging. And I've not even got an electric vehicle. It's difficult to see but courier drop-off zone, it says, over there. And all those wires around the outside to stop ram raids once again. And look, CCTV in operation. That sign has been put there for the public to read. And then we finally get round to the back. There's a little vehicle of some sort there. And I think we might have an open shutter as well. So let's hurry up. Down in the woods, there's two animals. I don't know if you can see them. Are they gonna move? This is amazing, look at that. Yeah, they're running off, look. You don't see that every day, do you? I just heard uh, a load of crunching. But yeah. Inside there, we have actually got a load of ducks as well, geese. There might be a pond in there, in the grounds. So I think it's time to get the drone up and let's have a look uh, 
Let's have a good look round, I think. If I go further down here, it's just going to disturb them. Look, there's loads of them. I just don't want to disturb some sort of uh, newborn. Is that what you call it? A nest? A base? A home? Look, there's more. There's little babies coming out now, look. So I'm not going to go further down there. I don't want to disturb the animals. I'm just going to go back up here and get the drone out. So firmly back on public land, on the public footpath. Let's get David up. So, let's go and have a look uh, at the Lloyds Horizon data center then from the sky. Please check it on the map. So we'll go from the first secure gate down there and we'll follow the road in which leads us to gate number two nice and secure and then we'll follow the road in which is to gate number three look at all the cameras around here look and then we finally get to gate number four it's got an in and an out and then you get to gate number five and you're then in the area where all those deer were, just down in that corner. So I can't see any sign of them now. So back to the data center. So once you have come through all those gates, you can then see what's inside this which is one of the things I wanted to see and we have just more internal vehicles there so that just also looks like some sort of uh, intermediary uh, building that doesn't even look like the data center so you once you've got by all those checks that path there takes you somewhere around the back so one would assume you just follow this main path you know once you've come from that little courtyard there you'll then walk all the way down there until you finally reach the data center with all the servers inside and to get a vehicle down there must be very very hard so whoever's got that vehicle, they must be very important. Let's have a look what it is. Because the risk of damage to their precious data to their precious data center, that risk needs to be completely eliminated. So what have we got? We've got solid fencing so you can't see in but that doesn't stop the drone does it uh, past the fencing we've got all the cooling systems air conditioning nitrogen all the most advanced cooling systems possible these will be all the backup uh, generators and have they even got solar panels on them that's unusual Loads of water tanks, you know, maybe water's being used for cooling. Maybe it's there for the fire suppression, for the sprinklers. So you even have to get through a secure gate just to get into your cooling systems, look. So inside this massive roof here, this building, will be something very, very, very important to Lloyd's, you know. If their ATMs go down or their internet banking goes down, you think of all the complaints, all the disruption, all the money that they would have to pay, compensation and all the reputation that they'd uh, suffer, all the complaints. So as you would expect in a, in a data centre, there's masses and masses of calling. 
and not just normal cooling this is state-of-the-art cooling air this building doesn't look very old at all and the fact that they've actually built it on such a raised bank like that I mean you can clearly see the bank lot how raised it is no one's ever going to be able to penetrate to these barriers and that raised bank unless with a uh, an unmanned aerial vehicle what we got down there oh even more uh, barriers and bollards so they've even thought about people uh, getting in from behind what's there They've got the water, that's a line of defence for them across this edge. And what is this fence like down here? Oh, it's double laid, barbed wire, and as you would expect, millions of cameras. Can you imagine the control centre in this place? How many cameras there would be? So let's have one quick look at the door where people go in. The staff would have to walk all the way down there through that checkpoint just to get to their cars which are parked in the middle vehicle lock over there. And maybe that's what the little bug is for to actually transport them <laughs> into the larger building. Let's see if we can see anything on the entrance. So down there, a couple of um, roller shutter doors. And then just here, this is where the staff would go in. And it's great to see they've got a disabled uh, ramp as well. But if you manage to get to that door, <laughs> you're very lucky, aren't you? So let's make our way back down, down this long path. Let's pretend that we're staff and we're having to walk all the way down this long path just to get to our car after a hard day's work inside the data centre. But the grounds look nice, don't they? We've got a suspicious uh, patch of grass there. I mean, why does that look different to the rest? Is there something going on underground? And then they've got a flood basin here. And that other road leads up here to some sort of uh, emergency vehicle entrance, which is also mega secure. With one of these ramp proof barriers and loads of bollards way around the perimeter look and there we can just see Rockingham Raceway which is on a previous video just in the distance and because these data centers do need lots of power there's always going to be some sort of uh, substation like this nearby as you can imagine the sort of uh, consumption it takes and interestingly on this one it's got a concrete divider so if there was any sort of explosion, they're hoping the concrete divider wouldn't knock out the one next door. <laughs> so back up after back up. And the skips, you know, they're up here. What's that little thing hiding behind the skip? Lawnmower or weed killer, weed spray killer. for the Lloyd's Horizon data centre, the brains of Lloyd's. So let's bring the drone back and we'll do the outro. Battery level is low, Battery level is low just in time. What a place, eh? All that security just to get to the data centre. But look what I've just spotted. Deer running. 
so there's a lot of them around here so just before I go I'm just going to um, say thank you really to the security thanks for not bothering me and uh, yeah just say our goodbyes really Hello mate, I just want to ask, um, have you spotted me outside? Sorry? No! Who is this place? I'm just outside at the front gate. Yeah. You've not just woke up, have you? No, I can see you at the front gate. Yeah, until now, have you spotted me? Well, yeah, but I'm not too sure what you're... Who is this speaking, sorry? I take your first answer as a no, yeah? So you've not spotted me up until now, is that correct? No, I've seen, I have seen you. I've seen somebody walking over to the to the intercom yourself, yeah. Oh, just now in the last sort of... Well, I can't see anything, but there isn't... <laughs> but, I'd, yeah, I'm not too sure what you're trying to... Well, you've got loads of cameras, haven't you? I just want to see if you've spotted me before now, but the yeah. answer... I can't really give... We can't, we can't really... We don't want to give away our blind spots, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not, let's not say too much then. But yeah, okay, mate. Um, what I've been doing, I've been walking around the perimeter for a good, let's just say, 15 minutes at least. Yeah. Just doing one of those silly YouTube videos where people go to uh, secure sites just to uh, do a little bit of a filming. Right, okay. Have you seen them that on, online, on YouTube? Oh, right. The um, auditing and stuff like that. Yeah, auditing, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Do you recognise my voice from any of them? No, no, I don't know. Oh, you're not watching it that much then, are you? <laughs> no, to be honest, we have a lot of people walking around this site, so we don't tend to, unless they're, um, you know, yeah. sort of, if, if they're trying to uh, interact with the site, it's slightly different, but it's, there is a public walkway all around the perimeter, so practically around the perimeter, so there's not exactly a... Uh, a view of that. Yeah, so it come, becomes quite normal for you, don't it, when you've got a public footpath running around the outside. I did walk, walk down to um, the first corner to my right, but then there was some deer down there. So yeah, there's a lot of deer. A lot of deer in this area. Yeah, I didn't want to disturb them. I mean, this is probably where they used to, they used to stay, if you know what I mean. Like, but obviously it's all been uh, built on and industrialised, isn't it? So... Yeah, you've taken their uh, home. <laughs> we want our home back. Yeah, yeah. But, but no, it's a pleasure talking to you, mate. What's your, uh, um, what's your handle on YouTube? Yeah, DJ is in music and then audits. DJ audits. My video of this place will be on in a few days. Um, I have took the drone over as well. I've got some lovely drone shots. I'm really impressed of how many barriers um, of defence you've got with the gates. And I can see how the staff have to park in this sort of vehicle lock here and they get, uh, you've got little buggies in the back there yeah. and you must take them up to the main data centre in the buggy. <laughs> That's quite good, you, you look after them, you don't make them walk up that big long footpath do you, surely? Say again? You don't make them walk up that big long footpath do you, in the rain? Where, where's that, sorry? From the main um, building here to my right up to the main data centre because they're not allowed the cars near it, are they? No, I'm not too sure. I'm not yeah, anyway, don't say too much because you might get yourself into trouble. Sorry, mate. So I very much doubt it. I can hear you've got somebody uh, talking to you now about it. Is it is it the drone that bothered you? Yeah, that's um, that's not. Not what, mate? Come on, spit it out. Yeah, unfortunately the drone is an issue. We don't, don't mind people walking around, but you should be flying a drone over this, this site. That is uh, not particularly... Um... Yeah, I've already done it. Yeah. That, that'll be a part of my video. If you look on DJ Audits, all my videos end with a drone footage, a drone shot. Right, okay. Yeah, is there, um, is there any sort of... Um... Do you know how you say you don't want that, you don't want drones to go over? What sort of what sort of could you do to stop it? 
where there's not a lot we can do. You'll see, you know, you have certain procedures. Oh, so are you calling the police right now? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No, no. No, if you are, just tell me. Be honest, because I will stay around. I don't want them looking for me. It's quite nice when the police come. We get to another bit of the video. But only call them if you think you need to. Okay, well, it's been great speaking to you. I hope you've got some uh, great content. Yeah, yeah, it has. It's been nice talking to you. Just confirm, have the police been called or not? The police haven't been called. Haven't okay. All right, well, thank you so much. Um, it's really nice to see. Uh, you can't tell me when this one was built or how old it was. How old it is, can you? Unfortunately not. It does look very modern. Even the, even the bank, do you know the raised mud bank? That's got steel bar reinforcements in it to stop any ram raids, isn't it? It's brilliant. You know, prisons should actually have this sort of security, shouldn't they? Not a data centre. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you, uh, leave you alone now, mate. All right. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? We got a little bit of human interaction at the very end there. And they'll be uh, trying to scan on the cameras now to see who he is. As soon as I mentioned the drone, his tone changed. I don't, don't know whether you noticed, but I did. Oh, we don't really, uh, we don't really want the drones coming over. And you know, when I says, oh, you've got the buggies to take the staff over to the main data center because you don't want cars near. He's like, how did you know that? <laughs> well, we just take the drone over and you know, we find out for ourselves. It's clear to see. But anyway, yeah, a bit of a laugh there on the gate uh, with the intercom. I'll leave this video here, guys. And if you have enjoyed that one, please give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one. And I wonder what he looks like. <laughs> bye bye for now.